Any kid can tell you where Santa Claus is from, the North Pole, but his historical journey is even longer and more fantastic than his annual one-night trip around the globe. The Father Christmas we know today didn't always look the same. Before becoming the man in red with a white beard, legend has it that the man, also known as Santa Claus, was originally a bishop called Saint Nicholas from Maya, now part of modern-day Turkey. He died as a martyr on December 6th in the 4th century AD. His remains were later taken to Bari in Italy and then again on to eastern France. In medieval times, Saint Nicholas became known as the protector of wise children, distributing gifts to them on the night of December 5th to 6th, accompanied by Father Fortad, who punished disobedient children. Saint Nicholas settled in the north and east of Europe before traveling to America with Dutch colonists in the 17th century. Santa Claus in Dutch became Santa Claus. In the 19th century, Christian families decided to associate Santa Claus with the birth of Jesus Christ on December 25th. Santa Claus swapped his matter and cross for a stick of candy and a hat. He gained weight and traded his bishop's cloth for a red suit lined with white fur. He no longer lives in heaven, but at the North Pole, where he has a toy factory. In 1931, Coca-Cola made him its mascot, making the birth of the modern and universal Santa Claus. Today, Father Christmas's secretariat in the southwest of France answers letters for some 1.2 million children from 140 countries. This Christmas has seen most people adorn his costume for a better cause around the world. In Mexico, runners dressing as Santa Claus participated in the annual Run Santa Run. Part of the profits from the event go to the purchase of toys for low-income children. It's been fantastic as always. This day is a very special day for all of us who participate. We came with great enthusiasm to participate in the event. And the truth is that is a joy because people have a good time. We had fun, we laughed, and despite the fact that the weather is still a bit cool, the human warmth makes it a special and pleasant day. In the U.S., over 300 people dressed as Santa Claus ski and snowboard down the trail at the Sunday River Resort in Newry. As part of an event to raise money for the River Fund Charity, which supports youth education and recreation and the local food pantry. And, um, and then we told all the kids... At the beginning, when you get in, you feel the cold a little more. But once you start battling, you already warm up. And let me tell you, the company, the friends, the laughter, all warms you up. And the cold is the last thing on your mind. Uh, we're out here just in Santa. Uh, we're here for charity. You know, we just love everything. Spread positive energy. Uh, yeah, pretty much we're just here for the love. We love everything, we love everyone. It's a wonderful, it's it's the fundraiser for the local food pantry. So we are the show, bringing everybody in for the food pantry and the fundraiser. And we, it's doing a lot of good locally here in the area, which is awesome. And in Barcelona, dozens of Santa donate went paddling in the south to raise money for a group of clowns named Palapupas in different hospitals in the city of Barcelona, cheering up ill children. People watch us from the show. You think that we are a group of 40, 30, 40, 50 Santa Clauses on the petrol boats. And whether you like it or not, it attracts attention because we are not dolphin either. And it draws a lot of attention, yes.
Un poquito, pero al principio cuando... Well, it is a bit heavy, uh, so those with some experience cut at the bottom of their trousers, because if not, in the end, the water ends up stripping you naked. But it's fun, it's a very uh, fun activity. Significa? It means the happiest thing that can happen to me, celebrating Christmas this way. Participating in a beautiful Santa race. Bueno, es un poco pesado porque ya, ya como llamamos ciertas. I enjoy with my family and with all the other because it is one of the funniest and the most satisfying races that have been in the whole year. Eh, la gente nos mira desde la orilla, sí, porque. This is the third time that I participate. Unfortunately, the last time was virtual but we still participated due to COVID-19 pandemic.